Welcome back everybody, Orange Track Outlaws here again. Today we are going to tackle this smashed up, beat up 67 Camaro. Uh, as you can see it is a disaster. The roof's all caved in, the eight pillars are jacked up, paint's gone. Um, this thing's got lots of problems. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to fix it and we're going to make this thing brand new. We're going to give it a sweet new paint job. Uh, we're going to polish the uh, chassis up a little bit. We're going to give it a pretty cool wheel swap. Uh, basically, we'll make this thing look brand new, make it look pretty. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, Hot Rod Sparkle uh, Pearl Flakes in this thing. And we're going to go with a, I can call it a uh, murdered candy paint job. Uh, so, I think it's going to be pretty fun. It ought to be... Uh, it ought to look pretty sweet after we get all the all that uh, roof and stuff figured out so let's get after it so here comes our project here on our custom hauler we got the old 67 Camaro uh, pretty sweet classic little casting Hot Wheels does uh, this one looks like it's seen looks like it's seen some heavy use uh, I thought this thing would be a fun project to, to pretty much resurrect this guy uh, as bad and beat up as it is, uh, I think it's going to look pretty good. Uh, cool casting too. This one does have the uh, it did have black wall wheels on it, but we're going to put some we're going to put some nice uh, real riders on there. Um, it does have the pretty cool opening hood feature as well. Um, I like that. So when I saw this car and seen that it was um, see it's a 1982 casting. And it had uh, the opening hood and all figured, figures why not try to resurrect it instead of, you know, throwing it in the, in the trash bin. So, uh, since it is kind of older, um, it does going it is going to need uh, the center punch on the rivets um, hit first. And then we're going to go in and drill a little pilot hole uh, with the small drill bit. And then come in with the bigger bit and buzz off the heads and get this guy uh, pulled apart. Uh, pretty easy, um, especially with uh, making the center punch. It definitely, you know, it, it, it prevents all the walking that uh, that the drill bit will do while you're starting off. So, great way to start doing it. Uh, you want to make sure you don't get too deep on the on the smaller drill bit, just basically below the head of the surface of the chassis, and then take that bigger bit and buzz the heads off. You should be good to go. Get your little screwdriver in here, pry that body off, and you can see what we got to work with here. So getting this thing off, um, it's pretty basic. Uh, like I said, the body, opening hood, uh, looks like obviously it used to be red, but uh, we're going to we're going to change that color. We're going to keep it somewhat red, but it's going to look sweet after we get the the, uh, <laughs> the roof figured out. But metal base, that's fun too. We're going to polish, clean that thing up, polish it up. I'll make that thing look brand new. Uh, the interior is overall in good shape except for that front part that, that came off. Uh, it really not dirty and whatnot, but uh, we'll clean it up and we'll super glue that the uh, the dashboard back on. Shouldn't uh, shouldn't be a big deal, and we'll clean the, clean the windshield up while we're waiting for our paint to dry. So first thing um, we're going to tackle. The crazy uh, damaged hood part uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, first of all we're just going to start with our, our flathead screwdriver and and see if that does anything trying to trying to bang the dents out uh, in the hood and uh, you know I, I don't think it's going to leave lines from the screwdriver but uh, you know we'll find out it's just it's going to need a lot of it's going to need a lot of tapping out and a lot of, a lot of tweaking with the needle nose pliers. I'll probably have to get the probably some different uh, some different punches out uh, to, to flatten the, the roof off a little bit. Uh, more than likely, I'll take that thing out to the to the bench vise and uh, put some put some center punches on it to kind of widen the, the hitting area and make it look. 
um, poke a little bit more at a time as opposed to the, the flathead screwdriver but that was just sitting there I thought I'd try it and actually it wasn't working too bad and, uh, and with the needle nose pliers and, and flexing that thing off yeah, we should be able to get it so right now uh, with with the needle nose pliers I just I just snapped off the A pillar the thing was just hanging there by a thread it wasn't serving any kind of purpose so we'll just get that thing out of the way um, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to take some JB Weld uh, steel stick. It's basically a it's a two part. It's it's just like JB Weld. It's liquid, but it comes in uh, like a two part epoxy where you, where you knead it together, and uh, it's not so it's not quite liquid. But we're going to use that, and uh, we're going to twist up a little a, a pillar, and basically stick that thing in place and, and mold it in there. And, uh, and build us a new A pillar and that's basically going to be the rough design and depending on how it works and how how it sticks um, I'm going to go on in on top of that um, and hit the joints um, on both sides actually because you saw the uh, the driver side actually cracked off too um, the A pillar is in good shape there it's just that the roof popped off so we'll JB weld that put back together with some of the two part liquid and then we'll use that to also um, reinforce the joints from uh, from the steel stick. So pretty much, um, you know, we got our roof figured out. Uh, so before we go fixing any more with the JB Weld, we're going to go ahead and run this thing through the sandblast box. Um, you saw that most of the paint was gone, so this was a this was a fairly easy uh, fairly easy procedure here. Um, that thing, that that old paint, this thing just strips off so fast. It's it's so nice, it's so easy. But we're gonna hit that, and uh, since the uh, chassis is uh, metal as well, we're gonna we're gonna hit that in here too, and then we'll get them cleaned up. Uh, we will polish uh, polish up the chassis, make that thing look sharp, and uh, and then we'll get the paint in our body. So I think we're about done here. Um, almost done with our chassis. I'll bring these out of the blast box. I'll show you. They look easy. We'll have to put them in them with. So, which is uh, now the next step. So here's a look at our chassis. Um, it does have the, the the sand blast box haze, I guess, on it. So we're gonna get our Dremel tool with our wire wheel. Uh, we're gonna pretty much go over this thing fairly quickly. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot to clean it off. It just needs a pretty much a once over. Get that haze off and it actually leaves you with a, a pretty nice, um, it's it's damn near next to polished surface. Uh, it, you know, it, does, it leaves a good, you know, a good surface to, to work with. Um, polishing will make a little bit of a difference. It won't make a huge difference, but you can take a look here. Um, it is there is a little bit of pity and whatnot, but it is old and it's uh, but it's still in good shape. So here's our body. You can see the um, the roof still has you know a couple issues. There, there's really going to be no way to pound that thing out. You know, back to perfect, back to brand new. So I got it about as straight as I could, and um, after I after I fix the uh, the A pillars. I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, of some of some milliput, um, and I'm going to uh, smooth that out. Actually, it wasn't milliput. What was I using? I used bondo. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, liquid bondo and fill in pretty much all the gaps on the on the roof and, and a little bit on the trunk, and uh, smooth that out. And then we'll uh, we'll sand it as flat as we can get it uh, before priming. But as you can see, the body uh, is is not looking too bad. So while we're while we're working here in, in the box, we're going to we're going to polish the base up with a little bit of our Blue Magic metal polish. We'll just hit this for a few minutes. It shouldn't take uh, too awful long. Uh, one thing to note here, and I'm bad at it, but you know, a little bit of metal polish does go a long way. You don't need to squirt a ton on there. It's going to take you forever to to polish it all off and get it off. And 
you know you'll just be polishing and it'll basically be wet for a while before it actually starts um, you know showing through and showing the shiny metal so a little bit does go a long way but uh, I know it's easy to get carried away I do pretty much every time um, but it does you can work through it and it still works it's just gonna take a little bit longer than usual but the results should be good and uh, the polish job one thing you want to you want to take your time on this step if you if you turn your Dremel on high first of all it's going to start flinging that that wet polish everywhere which is why I put it in in my uh, in my little makeshift box here where I where I do my wire grind my wire wheel grinding but also it'll it'll basically dry out the polish and then it it's kind of a real pain to to get it off that surface you know uh, other than scrubbing it down with soap and water so if you go on your low speed and keep it moving uh, you won't get that sort of drying out from the polish so you can get that thing's looking pretty good once we hit that with soap and water it'll be shiny and nice um, so we do have our body ready to go here we're gonna hit it with some um, Createx Autoborn Sealer Gray and this stuff is a uh, it's a great primer um, it does it does level out well it does fill in gaps and holes well um, so I'm a big fan of it um, as you can see on the roof there I did uh, you know where I where I did patch some holes and sanded it out and it should turn out looking uh, pretty good once we get everything covered up uh, you can see while I'm painting you know the A pillar turned out pretty good um, I was ended up uh, was pretty happy with it it's very you know it's a very touchy thing to make those A pillars especially with you know the JB weld and it's so thin and you go trying to sand it and smooth it and you know it's so thin and it's pretty brittle and you got to be gentle with it so it doesn't break and you got to start over so um, very important that you get that thing as as close to right the first time as possible so we got our primer going here and uh, everything's looking looking pretty good that thing dried up pretty well and you know you can see on the hood on the roof that it's it's it looks somewhat flat and you really can't see all the, the dents in there so we're gonna put a base coat down of some uh, some opaque black and that's going to uh, that's going to start us off with our with our black base uh, to start laying our color over top of it because what we're looking for is like a deep dark red um, and then we're going to lay some candy black over it but first things first um, opaque black um, put a little uh, put a little 4030 in there to help the flow <coughs> excuse me um, a little 4012 reducer and uh, and this stuff goes on goes on pretty well uh, I think I was hitting this at roughly 45 psi uh, I like spraying them a little higher psi it just it seems to go on better for me uh, nice thing about createx is on pretty much most or all the bottles uh, they do put the recommended psi on there so it kind of takes out the guesswork and it's very helpful when it comes to the autoborn sealers. Um, I, I struggle myself with, with dry tip and, and all that kind of stuff. And primarily it's because I, I forget to lower my PSI. I try to blow it up there at 40 or 50 PSI and, and, it, and it dries out and it's really a pain. So usually the autoborn sealer is right around 30 PSI. That seems to be working well for me. And then I bump it up when I move to my color. So everything's looking pretty good here. Um, we just want to make sure we get full coverage with all our black, uh, just as dark and as, as solid black uh, as we can get it. I don't want any, you know, extra spots and anything not even and whatnot. And and the black also it kind of helps, you know, cover up any other imperfections and blemishes that are left. So it's looking good. Opaque black. We're going to use that as our base coat. And we're gonna keep uh, we're, we're gonna start applying some color here and I said I want to get this thing to sparkle and I've been really liking this hot rod sparkle stuff lately um, 
but we're going to go with some pearl red and we're going to try to get that thing to sparkle even more so we're going to throw the hot rod sparkle on it and I don't know why this damn camera won't focus too good but that was pearl red uh, we're going to throw a little candy blood red in there to darken it up a little bit and we're going to put a little dirt track brown in there to add some more candy effect to it and to really change that color darken that pearl red up and I think it'll be okay as you can see there it, uh, it is it is darker than the normal red and once we start laying it down it, it, it will show a nice effect and, but I do have you know another step there if it's not necessarily the color I'm looking for um, I'm gonna go ahead and add you know another coat or two of just the candy blood red and since that's so dark it should it should tone down the red darken it up to to what I'm looking for but we're gonna go ahead and shoot our first coat over here and see what it looks like so this is uh, candy pearl dark red basically with some hot rod sparkle um, metal flake accents as you can see there in the light uh, I guess not that well but you can see a thing is starting to sparkle after just one coat um, it, it is taking on a little bit of the red uh, the red tints uh, so we're gonna lay you know coat two down here and you'll start seeing the, the red start to take place and it's, it's gonna be darker than, than what you're gonna think red is gonna be but it's still uh, it's gonna it's going to turn out pretty well. It's going to take another color at least to to start bringing the color. But you can see, you can start seeing some of the red. You can definitely see the sparkle in it, and and that's what I'm going for. Um, once we're all said and done with our color, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw like two light coats of candy black on there to really get that that murdered out effect. That's what we're going for here. Um, it's basically a, it, somewhat of a way to you know to make like flip flop paint. So when you look at it in the dark, it's all black. When you look at it in the light, you're really going to see that candy, that candy dark red, you know, metal flake pop. And you can see here, it's it's starting to take that that dark red look. And under the light, uh, you can see it. Uh, you can see the, the hot rod sparkle um, and that effect working. So pretty happy with how it's looking right now. Um, if you remember how we started, it's already a ton better. So, happy with it so far. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, like I talked to earlier, um, I want this thing to get, I want it to get a little bit more of a red look and I want it to get a little darker, a dark red look. So, I'm going to, I'm going to put some, just uh, some candy blood red, um, thin it with some 4030 and try to get it a little more red and a little little darker and it should only take a coat maybe two and we'll, we'll throw that on there and and see what it looks like but you can see just just off that first coat that changed the color you know kind of dramatically and it, it does look a little orange there but trust me it's it's really not orange it is a dark red look and it is uh it is popping so i'm good there with the with the blood red now we're going to go for that murdered look, which is our candy black and, and a little 4030 there for a flow. Uh, and thin it out with a little 4012 there. But we're going to hit this two coats real light. And we're looking for, we're looking to, to, to black this out, but, but just barely. So what you want to do is is you want to get this thing to where it where it actually starts looking black but not solid black so that was coat one that was quick and you can see it do, it does it kind of looks a little purple but it's it actually does have a nice black tone to it but you can see with it when it's in the light you can see the red show through so we're going to hit it real quick again with some candy black and you can already tell in the second coat you know it does look black it looks it looks pretty real black but uh I know my booth isn't good for for these lighting effects, but you can see it there. Uh, you can see the red showing through. You know, as I as I turn the the car in the in the light, uh, you can start seeing the red pop. 
and you can see all that um, <clears throat> you can see that hot rod sparkle come through there so that's as far as I want to go we're gonna call that done um, we're gonna let it dry we're gonna hit with some 2k clear and uh, we're ready for final assembly and that's where we are right here um, we're also we're all clear coated everything is looking it's dried everything's looking shiny um, I'm gonna get my flashlight out and you can see that that dark you know brandywine dark red type look um, you know when you hit it with a flashlight you know basically representing the sun trying to bring out that um, that candy pearl that's underneath that that candy black so it's looking good happy with it you know final assembly is usually pretty easy um, not many parts here pop the windshield in pop the interior in pop the base on good to go um, didn't have to do much here I did uh, I did clean the windshield with soap and water and it turned out pretty well so I I dunked it in um, in some pledge for care and let that dry and then we were uh, good to go there uh, and you can see um, off camera I did add our real rider chrome rims and um, these were pretty sweet. They had the little uh, red line ring around it. I thought that was a sweet um, addition to it. I thought this car would look uh, would look good with it having that that uh, that dark candy red and the red line uh, wheels. So real excited how this thing's turning out compared to what we started with. So this thing's pretty cool. We're gonna take a step back here real quick. Show you what we started with. Um, which is basically a uh, beat up, smashed up 67 um, black wall Camaro. Uh, it kind of speaks for itself right here how bad it is, but fix the roof, fix the pillars, new paint, polished chassis, new wheels. This thing looks like a totally different car and it is sweet. So let's take a look at the results here. Uh, I think, in my opinion, the looks kind of speak for itself. 67 Camaros, sweet. We'll call this murdered candy. Uh, I just turned the flashlight on for you to try to get some of that, um, try to get some of that candy to pop so it doesn't look so black. And but that's kind of the that's kind of the idea here. You want it to look black, and in the sun, you want that candy red pearl to pop. And this isn't doing it. Uh, my lighting and my flashlight is just not doing this car enough justice because this thing is sweet. <clears throat> this thing turned out absolutely awesome. It's it's one of the better Camaros that I've got in my collection. Um, real happy with the paint effects. I hope you guys uh, hope you enjoyed you know this restoration. Uh, it was a little bit of a pain, but I think it was uh, it turned out really well in the end. Uh, another car salvaged which is always fun as opposed to parting it out or just pitching it so that's uh you know that's always fun i think the rims on this thing really give it the you know the the, the big old race look to it and loving the red line tires that are on it so yep overall super happy with this i'm going to try to give you a, a closer look just to try to give you a better look at how this how how good this paint is really looking uh, I'm gonna try and get a get a close-up on the camera here um, you can see it does look a little a little purplish but uh, it is you know it, it is candy red under there with, with sparkles it just doesn't do it justice so anyway guys uh, I want to thank you again for tuning in please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see if you haven't already subscribed hit the bell and um, check out my other customs and races and uh, thanks again guys I'll see you later